angels welcome back to another youtube video if you're new here i am so excited to meet you and i really hope if by the end of this video you're loving it please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe i will love you forever but can we please just acknowledge the state of me this morning and i apologize more than anything we've got bed hair We've got breakouts. Life is just not being my friend at the minute. My skin is just breaking out after breaking out after breaking out. I don't know what is going on, okay? But let's cover this baby up, see if we can make myself look a little bit more presentable, all right? I just wanna say though, before we do get into this video, I'm not actually somebody that wears a lot of makeup. I'm doing this, I've been asked time and time again, what's your everyday, you know, makeup routine? So I'm gonna do that for you today, but I just want you to understand, because you know what, I don't want people to get the wrong idea about me. I'm just not somebody that on a day-to-day -day basis actually really bothers, I'm not gonna lie to you. Nine out of 10, I look like a slob. I look like a hot freaking mess. Um, but yeah. I'm excited to do this video, however, anyway. I mean, I love experimenting with makeup. Most girls do. It's so nice to spend time on your face and by the end of it go, you know what? Yeah, I look 50-50 good. This has been a good day. Uh, but yeah, so I just wanted to let you guys know that. Let's get into this video. Right, guys, so I've literally just wiped my hair up. Just get it out of the way. Got my bands on. Just gets everything out of my face. Right, so to start with, I just, I've washed my face already this morning, but just before I do my makeup, I like to go over with my cleansing water. Yeah, so good. I actually really rate Primark skincare, to be honest. And I'm just gonna go over, I just think if there's any excess oils left on, we are just gonna wipe those troubles away. Then, just because it's a normal thing to do, I'm then going to use, again, Primark, <clears throat> their, their clear and cool redefining toner. I love toning my face. I'm really oily, like crazy oily. So this for me is perfect. Oh, just to... Wipe over, and also you're then giving like your skin a really lovely fresh base for your makeup. So then your foundation's just going to look more flawless. So I would never just wash my face and then just bung it on. Then I use my vitamin C serum. This one I picked up from Home Bargains, guys. I've been using it now for the last couple of weeks. It's good, and just put. Drop there, drop there, drop there. Give it a little bit of a massage into the face. This has helped, even though I've had loads of breakouts, it's helped keep my skin bright and glowy. Okay, so that's all I do before my makeup goes on. What I'm, I'm not gonna put moisturizer on now because I will mix it in with my foundation. I just find it makes it a lighter feel, it looks dewier, more of a BB cream sort of effect. So you'll see that in a minute, so don't need to think that I don't moisturise my face before because, ew. Uh, right, but before I get into it, now if you'd have watched my Home Bargains haul, don't worry if you haven't, I'm going to link it below. But these babies, okay, I got three in a pack, I want to say for like a pound, I'm going to have to like refresh my memory, but hardly like any money at all. I've been putting these on as I like I do my eye makeup and all that before basically I put my foundation on. <sighs> I'm a mother who wakes up tired, like continuously tired. They say it gets easier, does it? Um, <laughs> so I find by putting these on, I'm kind of like giving my eyes a little bit of a pamper in the process and I love that. Who doesn't love a pamper? Okay, so they're so slimy feeling though. Oh, I'm not good with textures, but they're fine when they're on. Right, right. Just pop them on underneath. 
I always make the error of getting a bit too close sometimes and then you're doing your eye makeup and you can just feel the pads like getting into your eyeballs. Okay, so these can be left on for 15 minutes and that's roughly how long it takes me to do my eye makeup anyway. Just love the idea of giving my face a pamper. Okay, so I'm going to start by doing my eyebrows. Now, I go in with just a clear mascara. This one is just one from Collection. So cheap, it does the job. I just like to give my eyebrows a little bit of a fluff up. I'm really loving that more natural brow look. But you know what? Every time I do my eyebrows, it, they just never look like that. I think my issue is I get my eyebrows microbladed. So it just isn't going to be like that. I think if you've got naturally a lot of eyebrow hair, you can just work it. Totally work it. So I'm a bit jealous about that. And then I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Pomade in Soft Brown. I swear by this stuff. It's so good. Now, I've managed to lose my eyebrow, my eyebrow brush, which is really annoying. So I've just had to find anything that's flat, basically. Now, what I tend to do is I start, I do underneath, top right-hand corner, and then I work my way in, make it look a little bit more that it's blended, not so harsh at the front. You just see some people's browns, they just look so good. And then I try and do it and I'm like, I'm clearly just not about that brow life. Well, that brow life ain't about me. <laughs> right, and then I will just scoop it up. And add in sometimes just a few extra like hair marks. But again, I do find if you've got microbladed eyebrows, you can only do so much. Okay, so that's eyebrow number one. I'm just going to speed this next bit up because you don't need to see me do two brows. Okay, so that is both my eyebrows done. I tend to go in and touch them up, especially after I put my foundation on. I'm not one of these that joins their eyebrows and then knows how to wipe it after. I just go in and make a load of mess half the time. But that is my eyebrows. Okay, then what I tend to do is just use any old concealer I've got at the minute. It's just a Primark one. Just prime my eyes. Except without moving your iPads, guys. Okay, just like that. Then my go-to, you're all going to know by the end of this, I swear. My pretty little palettes in the sassy one. Once you find something good, you stick to it at the end of the day. I will always use this for my everyday makeup. Uh, just because it's got some really lovely nude subtle colours and that's what I'm all about. Is, is this one here, the colour Bitch guys, yeah, for real, okay. And I just chuck that all over my eyelid. I don't go too high up because I'm just not one of these people that likes it in her eyebrow. But I love, I just love browns anyway. And this time of year, guys, being autumn, you need an autumn palette. I mean, like I say, I can use this color, these colours all year round. I mean, a lot of people wear browns. But I just think in autumn especially, they are just the colours to use. So nothing special. Like I say. I am no makeup guru, I've said this before. I have no special talents <laughs> when it comes to makeup. And then, if I'm honest with you guys, I just use my highlighter, which again, I've tried saying this word before. That lovely make. I just go over the bottom half of the other colour. Makes it slightly lighter and really shimmery. I'm all about that life, guys. It's such a nice, subtle eyeshadow look. Okay, guys, then I'm just going to go in with my eyelash curlers. 
I always get so worried about using these. I'm so worried like I'm going to take a whole load of eyelashes out. Nobody wants that. And then I just use my super size fat lash mascara again from Collection. I don't really do too much on my eyes. I used to be the sort of girl that would just sit there building up, building up, building up to get that really fat, full eyelash look. So, moving on. Now, that's all I do for my eyes. So, these babies can come off. That You're left with like a little bit of residue, so I just rub it in under my eyes they feel like I can't explain it like more plump so nice I don't feel I look as tired now so this is when I'm going to go in with my primer again just a good odd one from Primark and I'm just going to put a little bit of moisturiser on the back of my hand and at the minute I am mixing two Primark foundations We've got these in Toffee and Cool Sand. So I've mixed those back on my hand with a damp beauty blender. Just going to give them a good old mix. Without trying to make too much mess, apply it all over my face. So that is all on. I'm gonna wipe this my hand. I do like a little bit of highlight and contouring. It's just habit now, I think. It definitely defines your face a lot nicer. So go back in with my Primark concealer. I definitely don't overdo it. She says. And then go back in with my beauty blender. Okay. And then I go in with my iconic London pigment stick. I can't even tell you what the shade is anymore. It's so scratched out. But it's so, so good. I want to say it's like four. I think it is icon four. Just do a little bit here. A little bit there. Oh, roughly down my nose. Nose is not my forte. A little bit on the cheekbones. Okay, and then I go over with my bronzer, which is a MAC Cosmetics in just MAC bronzer. And I just kind of go over where I've done my contour. Okay. And then whilst I'm here, I'm just going to put a little bit of my highlighter on my cheekbones. Please excuse the state of my brush. It's bad times, guys. My son gets into my makeup bag on the regular. A bit on the edge of my nose, and then a little bit on my chin just to show that shiner off even more. And then to finish this look off, it's actually really sad times, to be honest. I would go in, or I'm going to attempt to go in with my Matte Honey Love lipstick from MAC. Like, you can definitely see that I, I use this quite often. So I'm just going to go in with my finger. I don't need a lot anyway because I'm going to put a gloss on in a second.
And I'm going to use my Mellow Cosmetic Lip Gloss in the shade Palm Springs. This is so nice. I'm definitely loving a gloss at the minute. And this one does the trick. Okay guys, so I've just taken my hair out. The last thing I'm gonna do is go in with my All Nighter Spray by Urban Decay. And there you have it. Mine is the bed hair, this is my everyday. <laughs> makeup routine i really hope you enjoyed watching today as always it's been a pleasure to have you all here if you did enjoy it please give it a thumbs up and obviously subscribe i say it all of the time but i'd love to have you here with me on a permanent basis anyway i will be seeing you soon bye